Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to the Sunday recap, my weekly vlog where I talk a little bit about my last week in games. As always, we'll start with a bit of EVE Online. I think I played an average amount of EVE Online last week. Uh, I especially enjoyed the little trip that I took to Solitude. So Solitude is a secondary base of operations. We have jump clones there and uh, I decided to go and take a look because the uh, Excel Citadel that represents Harpa and FanFest is there. And so I do expect that most events and most interactions uh, that will happen between FanFest and the EVE Online game universe will be centered around that region and uh, so my plans are to go back there next week as well and spend um, I think uh, those three days of FanFest uh, in solitude uh, mostly watching the stream and seeing what we can do in order to interact with the story and see how all of that develops. Um, next to that I did go back for the blueprint copy business I think I had to put up 14 new contracts my maximum is 21 and um, yeah they're selling really well I'm, I'm quite surprised by that especially the right Taro blueprint for some reason is making a decent comeback I managed to sell one for more than 17 million um, so for a, a just a one run copy that's uh, definitely a very good business and um, I'm mostly focusing on the structure components because the blueprint copies for service modules and for um, things like launchers ECM uh, they are a little bit tougher to place and, and take a bit longer to uh, to sell so at the moment it's still going well but it's definitely focused on the uh, structure blueprints themselves and the structure components um, after that I also did join the mass test which was uh, quite a decent amount of fun because we managed to check out the new suns so those look pretty damn cool I gotta say there should be 28 or 29 uh, types of stars out there um, in, in EVE Online and so I can't wait to, to see those launched because they do look really really cool and of course when it comes to EVE Online, it's also all about looking forward to FanFest. I can't wait and uh, hopefully we'll get a lot of really cool information there as well. And it starts in less than a week. Next up we have Overwatch. I still managed to play a little bit of Overwatch, although mostly in the first half of the week. Uh, just jumping into a couple of quick play games, nothing all too special. It's still very, very enjoyable of course. I do like uh, Overwatch. It's the Blizzard polish that makes it so great. Orisa, the new character, um, was a little bit of hyped for just a couple of days. I must say that has fallen back quite substantially. I'm seeing a lot of the classical tanks and uh, there are supposedly a lot of changes coming to Lucio as well who is one of my favorite characters he's definitely my favorite healer in Overwatch and so I look forward to more changes to Overwatch more updates more maps and uh, the new hero Doomfist as well but the hype train for me when it comes to Overwatch is over a little bit since the launch of Orisa I'm basically ready for something else which is just in time for Diablo 3 uh, season 10 so I did get started on that I just haven't taken any footage of Diablo 3 yet so since it's another Blizzard game I'll, game, I'll quickly mention it over here. Um, I started a monk definitely my least favorite class in uh, Diablo 3 but when I was watching at all the sets it was basically the only one that felt interesting to me uh, so with the set bonuses that you would get just from running the uh, the, the uh, rewards the the journey of uh, this season because for the demon hunter i done that already um for the uh, wizard just didn't seem all that interesting um barbarian um yeah i've we've seen that already as well um it's a very interesting build uh, based around on movement speed but yeah, all the other ones, you know, Witch Doctor's Fetish Army um, doesn't sound all that interesting to me. Although I do like to play with a lot of minions. I felt like trying something completely different and so I went for the Monk. Uh, we can probably expect a few videos on that as I progress at least to level 70. Managed to get the entire set and then we'll see how much I enjoy the game. But that's basically what's taken over my Overwatch interest. It's uh, jumping back into Diablo 3. And finally, we also have a little bit of Banished, so that is still something that I tend to play when it's really busy at work and it is still really busy at my real life work. So when I need to relax, I just open up my Banished City, 
Uh, wait for the stone to roll in. That's that's definitely my bottleneck because I don't really like making stone quarries and making those big mines. Um, since you have the alternative of just trading for those resources, it does mean that you have to be a little bit more patient. But I think that's not so bad because with my new setup here, I basically feel like I've got more population than I have opportunities to provide them with jobs. I, I definitely have more than a hundred just straight up laborers and. Um, the food is just about right or sometimes I need to up the production a little bit So that is one thing that if you have to be a bit more patient wait for stone to actually arrive through trader It will test your setup a little bit more to see if you're not um, Yeah running uh, at, at deficits in in certain resources now for everything else. It's really easy, you know with production uh, That's definitely good um, and the production of tools more than a lot of potential uh, there as well because at first i was planning to follow a tip which was to try and trade in the tools uh, but i i just find firewood to be much more convenient because it's only one step um, you only need to produce wood for that and it still sells for uh, three or four uh, value uh, at those traders so i just think it's it's so much easier to stack up a lot of firewood to get a lot of firewood and to trade in that than to also add iron in the mix which at one point when i was actively trading in the tools was becoming a bit of a bottleneck a bit of a problem um so yeah i'm still choosing firewood as my go-to currency when it comes to buying stuff in um in banished and uh, i'm finding a decent balance here but it is definitely quite different from the uh, 12 by 13 pattern where here you have smaller uh, but much more dense living centers with lots of people running around and uh, because of all the wood production that I'm placing in between the small city centers it's basically becoming a bit harder to get enough food to get them enough jobs and so that is something that I'll probably try to fix on the outside of the map with more farms with more food production facilities and uh, hopefully we can get a cool city out of that but I'm definitely enjoying my banished time as well maybe I should also have a uh, a quick note that I'm, uh, I've been receiving several keys for Steam games as well, early access games and things like that. I'm going to try to find some time to cover those games as well, uh, but at the moment it's, it's really not easy uh, to find that amount of time. Anyways, that's it for this Sunday recap. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you all next time.